So last week I was at Forum Next 2024 and I had an interview with Nick. What are you doing here? I'm Polymaker Phil. You know me from the video from, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm Polymaker Phil. Dry Sam and the whole crew like Bubblegum Kim and... Do I know you from somewhere? All the other guys. Like you look kind of familiar. Axel, Ryan, and Unicorn John. Yeah, we had this amazing gathering and we were talking about our tiny bikes. Okay. They were all printed and in the amazing filament of Polymaker. And now they have something amazing. What's your message here? It is called Fibrom from Polymaker. Oh, and you know what? Yeah, we. You we can also good. get. What? Your Fibron filament, go to the Fibron filament from Polymaker. Check that out so in the description. So we are going to... Yeah, I, I, Polymaker I'm sorry, I'm Phil. interrupting your I know, we your, are going to talk thing. about it. Just let me do my part and I will Anyways, go now into the Polymaker, Polymaker Fibron. my go-to filament get, when it comes to 3D printing. Let's get rid of I this, always this guy, right? Filament, but I mean, anyways, also in the video, it's, he likes heavy it's metal kind of amazing. and poly the best filament, filament fiber is from Polymaker. It's really that's cool. Why I am called? Let's dive right in. Okay, Polymaker shall we? Phil. Thanks. Hey, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints here at Forum Next 2024 with Nicholas from awesome. Polymaker. Polymaker. And what is the best thing about Polymaker? Is me? No, I couldn't. Yeah, say that. Of, course. <laughs> no, 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 no. of course. The best thing is 3D printing materials. We have everything you need. Okay, well, we are standing here in front of Fibron. Fibron. So, Nick is going to tell you all about it because I have this much knowledge about <laughs> Fibron, but he knows everything about it. So, let's I hope so. right in. <laughs> So maybe we can start with our uh, PTG ESD. So just as a background, our, our uh, Fibron is uh, basically all the materials that are uh, carbon fiber or glass fiber filled. Uh, the first one uh, is filled with uh, nan uh, carbon nanotube, uh, our PTG ESD to make it uh, uh, safe, uh, elec electric, static, dissipative. And uh, basically the idea is that to avoid uh, accumulation of uh, charge in the plastic so that when it comes in contact with uh, um, uh, PCB board, for example, is going to fry some component of the board. So uh, that's the, the the first one. The second one is PTG RCF. Uh, so the R stands for uh, recycled. Uh, so the carbon fiber is actually recycled from a windmill blade, a carbon fiber windmill blade. Uh, and the eight stands for eight uh, percent. So there is eight uh, percent carbon fiber by weight in the PTG. Uh, wow. So. Uh, this PTG, the great thing is it has the same uh, heat resistance as regular PTG, a slightly higher HDT thanks to the uh, uh, the carbon fiber, uh, but its uh, stiffness is uh, much higher than a regular uh, regular PTG. And uh, you can see these uh, DEF racers. I'm pretty sure uh, your community is very familiar with uh, with the DEF racers that was made by uh, Scott, uh, Edge of 3D. It's a mechanic wheel and everything was printed with PTG RCF and our uh, PLA Pro Chrome, which turned out amazing. Cool. And then uh, the next one is PTCF uh, 17, so 17% carbon fiber by, uh, uh, by weight. And the great thing about PET compared to the more nylon based material is its uh, creep resistance. Uh, so you can see this HDT is uh, almost 150 degrees C and great uh, creep resistance and also uh, pretty cost effective. The next one is uh, PA12 CF and as you can see all the nylon are in our uh, poly dryer box. Uh, and the great thing about PA12 uh, CF and 10% uh, common fiber by weight is uh, it's resistant to moisture. So the idea is we're not talking about the filament being resistant to moisture so that you can print it without a dry box. We're talking about after printing the parts, uh, it will not absorb as much moisture as the, uh, the other nylon, which means it will maintain its rigidity uh, over time uh, compared to, uh, for example, a PS6GF, 
which over time uh, might lose its rigidity and gain more in impact resistance. The next one is 612. 612 is what uh, we want to be the go-to uh, nylon CF in, uh, in our portfolio. It has a really great balance between 6 and 12. So 12, I just explained about its great moisture resistance to maintain its mechanical properties in a moisture state. 6 CF and GF uh, have much better mechanical property in a dry state. However, over time, uh, they will sacrifice its stiffness for impact resistance. Uh, and 6, uh, 6 to 12 is the perfect uh, balance. And uh, also price-wise, it's more uh, cost-effective. Yeah, so the GF stands for glass fill. Uh, glass fill, yeah. So yeah. the PSX GF uh, is uh, glass fill 25% 25, 25 by weight and uh, carbon fiber 20% by, uh, by weight. And finally, we're going to finish with PPS CF10, so 10% carbon fiber by weight. So the PPS, the great thing about PPS is uh, flame uh, retardance. So it's a VZO UL94. Uh, it's uh, heat resistance, rigidity and chemical resistance. And actually to show uh, some of the properties of PPS, I'm not sure if you can hear the, uh, the sound, but it really sounds uh, very um, metallic. That shows the very, very high stiffness of, uh, of the material. So, and uh, most of these, uh, pretty much all the fibron, except PPS uh, can print on the printers that go up to 300 degrees C and do not require a heated chamber. Uh, similar to PPS, however, PPS needs uh, 330 to 350 degrees C. So a K2 Plus, for example, can print PPS uh, really well. So if, if people are want to buy this Fibron filament by Polymaker, where can they find it? Yeah, they can go on fibron.polymaker.com and then they will have a presentation of the portfolio and different way to buy it, depending on if it's in Europe or in US. Uh, there will be indication and uh, they can uh, purchase any product they need for the application. Cool, amazing, thank you. Thank you. That weird guy is finally gone. I don't know for how long, but like the guy said here in this video, Go to filament. Uh, I mean, uh, oh my gosh, me with my filaments. Dang. Go to fibron.com to get your filament from fri Fibron. Oh, my mustache. I, uh, maybe I need to shave it. Anyways, go to fibron.com and get your filament from Fibron. But it seems that this weird guy that was sitting here had also some other footage from the Polymaker booth at Formnext 2024. Go check it out, it comes right now. That filament you'll get at polymaker.com. Check it out. You just have what I have at home. I guess I knocked the guy that was sitting here a little bit too hard. If you made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not following, no, if you're not subscribed, oh wait, this is YouTube. So 
subscribe, I guess. And if you like this video, hit the like. What does this guy always say at the end? I think he doesn't have any ending. That's a, that's a weird. But hey, this was Polymaker Phil. Well, I'll catch you in the next one. Next video, maybe stream. I don't know. Bye. I think bye. Oh, I, I think he's coming back.